Hey guys, welcome back to a video. Me and Frank here are on the um, the Feed the Beast server, the public Feed the Beast server, I should say. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> and over the past couple of days in particular, we've been working kind of hard on getting our new spawn set up, and we wanted to give you guys a quick um, a quick look at that, I guess. We've still got quite a lot to do, um, but we're hoping, fingers crossed, there's no promises, guys, but we are hoping to get this finished by, you know, at some point this week, if we really can, or at least the, the basics of it, right? Yeah. Um, so, but we wanted to give you a quick tour and tell you about some of our plans that we have for the spawn, and um, yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. Um, now, this um, we've got kind of four as I, I, I like using the fancy word mezzanines, which is just another fancy word for balcony. Um, <laughs> but we've got four. Uh, I think it's four, right? One, two, three. Yeah, we've got four balconies um, that are going to be in this epic building, which we are going to give you a tour of in a minute. And um, the idea is the players are going to spawn up on this top level here with this awesome view of kind of like the main atrium and lobby and stuff, which looks amazing. I, I want to want to point out at the at, at the front as well. Most of this is all Frank's idea. Credit where the credits mm. due, and also I'm going to be putting a, a link in the top left of the video as well because Frank's been doing some videos on this spawn as well, so you should go and check them out too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so the the idea is the players are going to spawn up here with this awesome view. Um, there's going to be signs and stuff on the walls around here, which are going to give you rules and other helpful tips and stuff, right? Yep. I don't know, what should, what should we look at first? There's so much to look at. There's so many details in this building, I, I don't really know where to start. Yeah, well, since not a lot is done on the top floor, I guess we can fly down a bit here okay. and uh, kind of talk about uh, the bottom floor, which mm -hmm. I guess is where most of the things are going to happen. Or on the other floors, I mean, guys, the reason why we have so many floors and so much room in here is that we want to have examples of the different mods in Feed the Beast and especially the me Mechanical Monkey pack so that new players can kind of have a look around and maybe be inspired or feel like, oh my god, this looks like fun. What are these golems? I want to be a wizard. All that kinds of stuff <laughs> like that, you know. So that's basically what this building is going to be full of. So yeah, it needed to be a bit large. Also, it's fun, you know. And, uh, you know, I've had small kind of insignificant spawns before and, you know, they're, they're fine. They kind of suit their purpose. But um, having something that's pretty damn epic like this you know it kind of inspires players to maybe go that little bit further when they're making their builds too as well i think maybe and you know that's always a good thing yeah mm -hmm. um so yeah we've got lots of things planned down here as frank said we're gonna have like areas showing you examples of what you can build not just um from a building perspective but also the technical perspective such as the machines and stuff which is what feed the beast is about for a lot of players yeah. um we're going to have stuff like charging stations and charging pads so the players can come and charge their stuff for free, you know, because we're nice like that. We're generous. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got several sections kind of marked off already, and you've probably seen these big flashing signs on the wall here. Um, but we've got two tunnels which aren't finished right now. Um, you can kind of see the tunnels a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Um, they need to be expanded, obviously, depending on you know how much stuff we put in here. But we've got different kind of ideas on what we want to put in here, and this might change. We might change it, but the idea right now is this is going to be like a VIP tunnel, and we're going to have. Um, well, one of the ideas that we had is that we would have soul cages in there with like the super spawners, so um, the VIPs can go and um, grind XP and items and stuff like that. That was one of the ideas that we had for that area. Mm -hmm. Um, we also have another tunnel down here, which is going to potentially at some point include a metro, some kind of train station is the idea. I mean, we haven't, we're a long way away from building that, uh, if we're honest, but it's, you know, it's kind of something that we we talked and planned a little about. Um, and there might also be some warp signs and, and, and stuff like that to different biomes, which would be cool. Mm -hmm. Oh man, where do we start? Uh, I mean, there's so there's really so many details in here, as you can... Uh, probably see this place is pretty well lit it is daytime and there's a lot of glass granted but um frank discovered yesterday that these co uh, copper half slabs allow light to pass through so if you actually look under these you can see that we've got lots of orange lamps under there so this place is really pretty well lit up surprisingly <laughs> yeah and you've got all the other details like frank has found a new love for making uh lamps with these fluid pipes which look amazing by the way thank um, you and she's also made this rather epic looking chandelier one up here as well. 
there's so, just so many uh, i mean obviously fluid pipes are meant for transporting fluids but if you're you know if you're creative and try things out you can use them for a lot more stuff it's actually a lot of blocks in feed bees like that that they use for entirely different things but from a building perspective they can be really great Mm -hmm. to use like the mag tubes i think they look great and it's actually quite a lot of machines as well that um that if you incorporate it into build it can it can be used as quite cool building blocks mm -hmm. yeah absolutely it's uh, nice mm -hmm. um so we do have um we have several lots of entrances <laughs> as you <laughs> can see um there's a kind of a main entrance here which leads out there's not much out there right now we you know we're trying to focus on the main building right now um, and we're not focusing too much on the exterior, you know, that will come. Um, but we've got some kind of the, the makings of some roads here. And yeah, because this is kind of the transportation, um, uh, like entrance of the building. Um, if we're going to have rail tracks and subways and stuff, this is the way it's going to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully we're going to expand these streets as well. And eventually it's going to lead out uh, to plots. Mm -hmm. And <sighs> you're getting, at least on my channel, uh, you're getting kind of the first view of the outside, which I think you guys will agree looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's so, so detailed and it's rather large. Um, Frank did also make a clock on this side here. It's, it's a little bit broken right now uh, and that was my fault. Um, I broke it. But, um, <laughs> I'm sure we can get that fixed pretty, pretty soon. Um, yeah. what, what would you say this, the kind of style we're going for is this kind of like a cyber punk steampunk kind of thing or yeah absolutely mm -hmm. um which fits uh, feed the beast very well i'd say with all the machines and pipes and everything so uh we were, when we do eventually expand spawn because uh, it will be and players will be able to do stuff here too of course because that's fun um and uh we're not really certain about how that's going to work yet, by the way, but what we are going to do outside of here at least is that we're going to build a square and we're going to have shops here. We were thinking about starting out with just stalls where players could uh, set up their trade matics and sell stuff. Mm -hmm. Items and stuff, cool that things. That would be very cool. So yeah, we want to have a way for players to to sell stuff um, and we didn't really want to involve an, um, a, a money or a currency of any type so I think we're going to be using as Frank said the trade matics that are built in to feed the beast and um, players can set those up selling whatever materials they want for whatever resources they want as well so I think that'd be fun I think that's going to be going to be fun because a lot of players in Minecraft and uh, it really you know it, even if it's feed the beast or vanilla it doesn't really matter a lot of play players just you know like getting a lot of resources it's what they kind of think is fun and especially feed the beast really helps out with getting a lot of resources really fast so i think that having shops player managed shops instead um that's going to provide a whole lot of fun for members of the server that really like doing that yeah absolutely and it's going to give them a reason to collect those resources i mean if they're super rich and they don't need anything um, then you know they can set up a store and, and sell off their uh, surplus materials I guess mm -hmm. um, you can see we've also got um, 10 smokestacks or chimneys up on top as well um, varying in size these are gonna have smoke emitting from them uh, I guess I can put one in just to kind of show you guys if you haven't seen them um, really quickly if I can find one there are smoke in box I don't the reason with the disabled right now is because um, we don't want crazy lag here while we're building it um, but you can see they look pretty cool and obviously there's only one in there right now but every chimney would, ha would have one of those potentially um, makes it look very kind of industrial I think mm -hmm. which is kind of what the whole thing we were going for I guess <laughs> yeah um, what else industrial have we got? mixed with fancy oh yeah here on this side which doesn't look too exciting at the moment um, there's going to be just uh, like on the other side we have a building sticking out and there's a clock tower on it and we are going to have something in the middle here as well in in the same size mm -hmm. and that however is not going to be a fancy clock tower or anything it's going to be purely industrial because on this side we are going to have lots of industrial buildings maybe oil platforms maybe tree farms I mean just mm -hmm. all kinds of production facilities 
Um, yeah, I mean, something that's obviously relevant to, to Feed the Beast, and again, it will maybe help you guys um, if you're looking for some ideas on what contraptions you can build and feed the beast. So we're going to have like a, a, a big industrial kind of complex here mm -hmm. um, demonstrating some of that stuff, hopefully. Uh, I mean, we've got we've got quite a lot left to do on Spawn, but we have um, we've been working pretty hard on it the past two or three days and, and we've got quite a lot done. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're hoping that this Spawn will be, as I said, ready this week. Uh, maybe not everything will be ready, but the majority of it and you guys can start kind of using it as your main Spawn. Um, but we will be adding stuff to it, no doubt, Yeah. for a little while yet. Uh, so um, just before we go, guys, we wanted to talk about a little bit about the back of the building as well. Um, and actually, I wouldn't mind showing the stairs that we built. Well, <laughs> fr Frank Frank conceived I helped to build. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> but, but I yeah. think the stairs are probably the favorite part of your building. Uh, uh, no, the favorite part of, of the building, I mean, right? It's one of them, for sure. The stairs, yeah. I really, really like them. They just look so clean, and uh, I like with lines like that and my fancy lamps we finally used them <laughs> mm -hmm. they look very nice on the stairs very good but what's the plan for the back then um we're going to put a harbor here um we're going to have some dirty pipes uh, spreading this horrible greenish looking water into the clean ocean because that is what industrialism is all about and uh, and well, this barn, what, what we wanted to do is that we, well, we want to have the player shops, the industrial areas for inspiration, um, kind of the way uh, subways and stuff, if, if players get together and want to help build on the subways um, in one direction. And also, of course, we have the sea direction as well for people that just want to take a boat and go as far away on the map as possible, as I usually <laughs> do, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, there's going to be a lot of possibilities to travel from Spawn because uh, we we kind of like the idea of, since this is Feed the Beast, um, when people start building loads of machines and stuff, it takes up a lot of room, more room than in vanilla. So we ha want to make give the players a lot of opportunities to really travel the map so people can get the space that they, they kind of need. Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, some pipes and stuff spinning sewerage into the water with maybe some dead seals and stuff around would be fun oh uh, do we have a mod for that dead seal mod oh maybe we can get, we can can get a dead walrus instead yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would work <laughs> play dead on me <laughs> <laughs> all right guys before before we go then i just want to mention very quickly something about the the server and and more specifically the pack um so we do use a custom or a private pack on this server. Uh, the pack's called Mechanical Monkey. If you want to know how to get the pack, which you do need to get on the server, uh, there will be a link in the description to tell you just how to do that. It's very, very easy. And you actually get it through the Feed the Beast launcher. Uh, oh, there's Dommy. <laughs> um, also, briefly, just wanted to mention as well that um, this server is not a vanilla Feed the Beast server. We do run a lot of custom plugins, including protection plugins and stuff, so it should be pretty much grief-free as well, which is a rare thing to say on a Feed the Beast server. Um, we can fix griefs and roll back stuff, so I just wanted to mention that really quickly. Um, but yeah, um, if you want to stop by the server and say hello, please do. All the details you need are in the description, and hopefully we'll see you on here. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye, guys.